Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late. Desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your oppression? No! God damn it, die! No! No! Ah! 
was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth.
Baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying that. I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Damn. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry. We're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. We're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart. Do like me a happen. favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Coconut mm -hmm. again? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got Lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. 
This Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <coughs> the Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bye, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. Yeah, I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Alice? Honey? The old door had played a trick on me. Alice wouldn't have come out in the dark. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you, everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not- Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. had gone dark. All the lights were out.
Oh no! Keep going. 